Hey guys, Running Kimono here. So I hit the mother load today over at Walmart. I found so much frozen food on clearance. I'm gonna talk about where I found it, what the price points are. I mean, something that's usually like two bucks I got for 50 cents. Um, we got a new handy dandy freezer and I bought a lot of stuff for it. So this is only some of, I actually took everything out of the boxes because um, I didn't want it to like, you know, thaw on my um, kitchen counter here. Um, so. I just have like probably um, a quarter of what I bought because I probably got like um, four or five of each. Um, but it's just some really fantastic deals. Like I think it was either 75% off around that price point. Like nothing was like, you know, really cheap. Um, I think everything was about, you know, either some of it probably was 50 and then a lot of it was 75% off. So what, we're going to show you the UPCs. I don't think you can really find it on Brick Seeks. So, um, but I will show you the UPCs if you want to go and check it out. And you can always use your Walmart app, open it up in the store and scan the UPCs to see what prices are ringing up for. Along with, guys, I did a little, um, I bought a Walmart haul here. And I'm trying to get more stuff for the household that we will actually use. So this kind of signifies a lot of this um, haul. And for a lot of you that might be thinking, well, you know, because basically after all of my Ibotta rebates and the different little rebates that I do, uh, this was, I think, 20 but I did so many other things the month previous with Ibotta. I got some sort of $20 bonus uh, today. So this basically zeroes out to free after everything is said and done. Um, I did spend about um, $40 on all my frozen food because I did go kind of crazy with that. As many of you know, I got a new freezer. Um, but this is just fantastic. So we're going to dive into the prices right away for this because I have one product that I could... There's a little muffins I can't... Um, I can't um, remove it, but as you can see, it's already starting to get wet. So I'm gonna talk about that right away. And then we're gonna talk about the Ibotta rebates. Weather report for you guys and hi to my mom if she's watching. It's about 80 degrees here today. Um, so yeah, at Walmart, I don't know if you guys follow the freebie guy over on Instagram, but that man, like he always finds the best deals and yeah, it's his full-time job, but he finds like the best stuff. And I'm like, I, <laughs> I, 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 like how does that even happen <laughs> and for whatever reason today I was walking by the frozen food section so there's something called an end cap which is at the end of an aisle they have a little like area where there's an um an end cap section so it's like a freezer at the end of an aisle and that's where I found all of this and there was a ton of frozen food nobody was looking at it or picking it over and I, I got the the, the president's choice of everything. I mean, I was the first person there, or the queen's choice of everything, um, which is fantastic. So we're going to show you UPCs. And again, I'm not sure if you can look that up on brickseek.com, but um, it might be worth checking it out if you're going to go do some of these Ibotta deals this weekend. Like, why not? So the first thing are these uh, grain-free muffins. And sometimes I like to have like one, you know, like if you want something sweet once in a while. Um, and this was $2. I don't know what the original price point was, guys, because... Um, it wasn't listed on the receipt, but here is the UPC. If you want to look up this uh, zucchini muffins, so they look really nice. Now this is a little piece of fanciness. Um, it's like a cookie pie, so there's like a cookie and like the ice cream on top, and it's by this company called um, Tiller and Hatch. I've never even heard of this, and it was a dollar eighty. by date is um, next February. So a lot of this stuff, I don't know if they're just not selling it anymore or what the story is, but um, sometimes my husband, um, you know, he'll be like, I would really like something nice. So instead of going out to McDonald's to get an ice cream or, you know, um, this is uh, a much better alternative and it looks pretty fancy. So I got four of these. Now this is the most exciting thing ever. It's called Bombay Chef and um, it's these little um, Samo vegetable Samoas. Um, I love Indian food, it is my favorite. So the little uh, pockets in a dip, like oh my gosh, are you kidding me? And here's the UPC for this product and again it's the vegetable Samoa. I'm just curious where this is made. Made in heaven. Oh, it's made in Alberta. Hmm, from Canada, where I'm from. Okay, that's kind of cool. But like a dollar for this? Uh, 
high. So I'm sure it was like a couple of dollars for this, probably, you know, three to four dollars. And there's six Samoas in here with the medium spicy sauce. Um, my husband will die when he sees this because this is what, I mean, there was seven left in the store and I grabbed all of them because I knew this would be a home run. Now this I'm not too sure about. It's this Amy's Pizza, but anything made by this company is usually really good. Um, if you did some Walmart clearance um, a couple of weeks back, there were some um, like enchiladas that were 50 cents or something like that. So this pizza was $2.50. And usually anything in the Amy's line is, is it's not cheap. So here it is, uh, the UPC. And um, I don't know, just a different, it's a different kind of crust and it's a different kind of pizza. Hopefully my husband likes it, but it, it might be an easy lunch one day. So that's the Amy's pizza. And I think those are usually like eight bucks, if not a bit more. And this is, um, it doesn't expire till July of 2022. So we have a, a good long time to enjoy those. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a really great find too. It's these Pepperidge Farm shells. Um, if you do any sort of baking or if you want to use this for like um, a chicken pot pie, hey, fantastic. And these were 50 cents each, guys. A chicken pot pie, I'll be doing that this winter. I found a couple of these. Again, as I told you guys, I really love Indian food. Great value, which is the Walmart brand. So it is a Whole30, it says approved by Whole30. So it's a vegetable butter chicken dish. It looks yummers. And here is the UPC for this one. And this guy was also a dollar too. Okay guys, so I was on a mission to get some stuff from my freezer and man, um, I think I looked at some of the tags and a lot of these products were $3.97 or $4.97 and I got it for a dollar. So there's some significant savings there. I think altogether I might have spent $25 and saved probably like 200 bucks or something like that. So definitely check those end caps out at Walmart. It's, it's worth your time, especially if you're looking for frozen food and not all of it is garbage either. Lots of uh, vegan and healthy options and uh, oh, I was really happy with that. So some other items that I didn't buy um, is this chicken uh, buttermilk and biscuits, this uh, biscuit and gravy breakfast bowls, I, just some stuff that we don't eat in our home. Um, this one I wasn't sure about. It was chicken enchiladas for a dollar and then the White Castle bean sliders. Um, I could pass a lot of stuff off to my husband, but bean sliders, um, he would know the difference and it probably wouldn't end very well. And this was also a really good find too. And I'm not sure if the prices were dropped because it's going to be the Labor Day weekend, but these massive packages of spare ribs, slow cook them on a grill. I mean, it's going to be amazing. Um, huge pack for like 11 bucks. I was like, oh my gosh. So if, sorry to all the vegans out there or, or the vegetarians, but man, this was just a phenomenal price. So I did pick up two of those as well today. Okay, so this first deal is really fantastic and it is with the Shopkick app. Um, so the AHA <laughs> sparkling water is $1.38. Um, on my account, I had 750 kicks back when I buy this, which is the equivalency of three bucks. So this was 38 cents after everything is said and done. I'll pay that every day of the week. That's Great little deal on the Hallmark cards. Um, these guys are 97 cents each. So for two of them, that's um, $1.94. There's a $2 I bought a rebate. Um, so I got them both for free. Pop tarts were $3.68. Uh, there's a $2 I bought a rebate. So it made $1.68 after everything was said and done. bought two of these Mueller pastas. I'm just trying to stock up my pantry for the winter time, you know. <laughs> $1.38 a pop, so for two of them, that's $2.76. We have a 75 cent I bought a rebate, so it made it $2 and a penny, basically a dollar for each of them, and this is a really nice spaghetti, so I'm okay with that. I got two of the Hellman sauces. Uh, these guys are $3.47 a pop. There's a $2 hang tag that's um, usually attached to it. 
and a dollar I bought a rebate, so it dropped it down to 47 cents. And I was trying to finish some midweek um, rebate too, that if I did um, 12, I would get back $5. So that's why I was just grabbing everything and anything. The macaroni and cheese, uh, this guy is 98 cents. 20 cent I bought a rebate, so it made it 78 cents. My husband likes anything like macaroni wise, like mac and cheese, so a little treat for him. This guy is just a freebie. Um, it was $1.68, I believe, and um, there is a free coupon in the last uh, $1.62. And then in the Smart Source of last weekend, there's a free, um, you know, free item coupon. So it basically zeroes it out to free. These Starbucks pods, we got a fancy dancy new coffee machine. Uh, they were $5 each. Ibotta has a, um, $1.75 for each of them. You could do it up to three times. I only got two in case my husband really hated it, but he was asking for new pods for his uh, coffee machine, so he will be so happy with that. Okay, and now we have a little bag of Tide Pods for $4.94, $2 coupon from the September PNG, dropping it down to $2.94, and then we have a $2 Ibotta rebate, making it $0.94. Cents. And then the all, this pack of, um, there's a lot in here. How many? Of course it's on an angle and it's punched in. And this pack of 25 uh, was also $4.97. I had a $1.50 coupon. Um, somebody mailed that to me. I paid $3.47 out of pocket. I bought his giving back $2.50. It worked on this product, so it made it $0.97 cents after everything is said and done. These Bic pens, um, $5.88 a piece, so for two of them that's $11.76. I had a three off a two coupon. I think that was mailed to me from the company, um, some sort of like a free promotion thing that they sent that to me, and they sent a free item plus a three off a two. So I utilized that, paid $8.76 out of pocket. I bought it has a $6 rebate when you buy two, so it made a $2.76 for the two. Okay guys, the next bunch of rebates in the fridge. I didn't haul them out for the video. So 75 cent rebate on this um, brick of cheese from Cracker Barrel, dropping it down to 2.43. These little uh, cuts of cheese, um, $3.48 down to 2.73. My husband loves cheese, so this makes him really happy. These little cubes, um, it was $3.28 with an, a dollar I bought a rebate down to $2.28. And then I also got some whipped butter for $2.73, 75 cents. I bought a rebate making it $1.98. Now, yep, I did have to pay out a little bit for this haul. Um, I think after everything said and done, after all the Ibotta money I, I got back, which was $27 in rebates or $28 in rebates, I had some $5 bonus too. And then today I got another uh, $20 bonus for last month, some sort of like get so many offers, get something. So I'm not complaining. Basically what I paid... Um, for my Ibotta haul, um, it came back to me. So even if I had to pay $20 for all this cheese and food and other magic, I'm okay with that. Um, Cause I had to go to the grocery store anyhow and that frozen food was just an extra find, but it, it turned out really good for me. And um, yeah, let me know if you got a, a weird Ibotta bonus as well. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.